Hello and welcome to Radio Faces brought to you by HCC TV. I'm Indy Kalu, Sports Radio 610, and he is John the General McLean, Hall of Fame sports writer for The Chronicle. You could also catch him on Sports Radio 610. When you're in front of your computer, don't forget to catch his amazing articles on Cron.com. This is our Super Bowl show. Super Bowl coming up Sunday at Cowboy Stadium between Green Bay and Pittsburgh. Packers favored by two and a half. Green Bay, founded in 1921 as part of the original National Football League. Pittsburgh, founded in 1933. We'll get to the Super Bowl, Indy, but we always start with the Texans, and I know you've got something sticking in your craw. Well, first of all, thanks for that history lesson on letting us know when these teams were founded. But yes, I do have something sticking in my craw, as you say. It's the snub of Andre Johnson. And I'm not big on saying this guy should be all pro or going to the Pro Bowl, because I know there's always going to be individual athletes who felt like they were snubbed. But this time, it's a fact, not an opinion. Andre Johnson was snubbed from the Pro Bowl. And I think the voters, not yourself, of course, all they looked at were the stats. Is this the all-pro team or is it the all-stat team? And if it's the all-pro team, you have to put Andre Johnson in there with everything that he did on that bum ankle. This is a guy who had a high ankle sprain early in the season. Trust me, I had one when I played with Philadelphia. It is painful. It kept me out for six weeks. He didn't miss any games early on with a high ankle sprain. And he went out there and still had over 1,200 yards, eight touchdowns, and put up great numbers and helped the Texans win some of those games that they won. And I just don't see how you can leave him off the all-pro team if you're not just looking at stats. So I'll tell you how they did. I'm one of the 36 voters. And I voted Andre and Roddy White from Atlanta first team. But I can understand why the voters didn't. With the exception of Calvin Johnson, everybody made the playoffs. The only reason Johnson was voted ahead of Andre was because he had 10 touchdowns and he also played every game. I think Andre missing those three games hurt him. And I think the Texans being absolutely terrible worked against him as well. He's usually there, but I think missing the games and playing on a bad team has hurt. Well, I understand what you're saying about missed games, but now I have some knowledge because I read all your articles. He's not the only one who missed games. When you look at Ed Reed, he missed six games and he made the all But led the team. league in interceptions. Right. Again, you're going straight to the stats, but he, I, and I think Ed Reed should have made it. You know, he's one, I think he is the best, arguably, safety in the game, minus Detroit Palomalu. Then you have Logan Mankins, the guard who missed some games also. Six due to as a, well. To a contract issue. It's not even an injury. It was a contract dispute so if those guys can make it I think with what Andre Johnson did on a bum ankle he should definitely be there and again all the wide receivers that made it they're comprised of stat leaders whether they're leading in yardage or touchdowns if you strictly go to stats well Andre Johnson had the most average yards per game out of any receiver in the game so they should look to that stat. Does he pay you for this kind of PR? <laughs> no, he, he should. Doesn't. Now I think Bruce Matthews stay inside the new contract was a good deal yeah, Gary Kubiak wanted him back. They met. Bob McNair was out of town, came back. He met with McNair. McNair got it done. What do you think about Bruce's value to the team? It's huge. When you talk about an offensive lineman looking to a guy like Bruce Matthews, not just for the X's and O's, but to know how you're supposed to block somebody, uh, what goes through the mindset before a game, during a game, after a beat, who better to ask than one of the best offensive linemen to ever play the game? And he could teach these guys about longevity, how to take care of your body. I think it, it was huge for them to keep Bruce Matthews. When I knew, when I heard that he was going to go uh, interview with Dallas, I was a little nervous, but I'm glad Bob McNair got the job done to keep him here. I didn't think he would leave, but Hudson Howe, the line coach of the Cowboys, one of the greatest ever, he coached Bruce at USC, and he talked to him about, I'll be retiring soon, and if you're working under me, you could be elevated to be the line coach. But Bruce decided he know he wanted to stay here, so that was good. 